This is Isa from Printstick and this time I want to show you how to use Printstick's newest sticker book which include 865 stickers that are ready for you to use in GoodNotes. So I'm going to open that book right here in GoodNotes. This is the front cover. Then you have this dashboard with some links to the shop, social media and our group on Facebook. Then you come to this page, which is an index page. And just so you know, all of the titles that you see here can be removed. So use your lasso tool on the top bar here to draw a circle on each of the titles. And you can either move it to put it somewhere else, or you can tap and click on delete and the title will be gone. Then you can enter your own words or you can leave it as is. You have this blank section to add any stickers that you want. So I'm just gonna go through all of the pages so you can see what's included. You have these letter stickers, the whole alphabet and numbers in different styles and colors. These right here are white stickers. That's why the pages are gray so that you can see where they are. You also have these word stickers. Each word is a separate sticker. You can put them together and create your own quotes. You have these dots here. You would write something like today. That's how I've used them in the past. You have these frame stickers also if you're feeling inspired and you want to write some quotes. More badges or frames. Next you have your banner stickers. This time these do not come with any text again so you can write whatever you want. Like for example, you can just write weekend. We have more banners, same thing on these banners. You can write with your hand. So if you write something and then you want to use a sticker, just select the whole thing with your lasso tool. Tap twice on the lasso tool and make sure that all of these boxes are turned to green, which is going to allow you to select both images. So the sticker and your handwriting. Okay, then tap on this um, selection that you just made. Click copy. And if you want to your planner pages, I'll just do it right here. Tap and hold and click paste. And you have your uh, sticker ready to be used. So after the banners, we have these flag stickers, check boxes and frame boxes. And then you have a ton of different stickers in different colors. So first you have this whole set in blue. You also have it in this orange or peach color, pink, purple, and yellow. Next, you have these dot stickers in pastel colors. So these can be used as bullets. If you copy, paste them, you can make them smaller, copy again. copy these two and then you can write your errands okay next you have these dates which will allow you to date your undated planner so all you would do is select this whole week tap click copy open your planner tap and hold click paste and these are ready to be used so that's a very convenient way of dating your planner this planner is the pastel color planner version 2 and i'm going to leave a link to it below you also have the numbers so again select all of them copy go to your monthly spread tap and hold click paste and you have your numbers. Obviously, you would um, arrange this according to which month you are dating for. So the one might not start over here, but you already kind of have them um, aligned. So you have these dates in this dark gray color. You have them in a lighter gray color. And the way this works is 
I use these numbers to date the days of the month that belong to a different month. So for example, let me show you, I would go here and place this 30 and 31st here because that's from the previous month and then this month would start in on the 1st you know so that's how you know that these two belong to the previous month and you have the same but in white in case you're using uh, dark spreads and you need white letters so that's why this page is yellow so you can see where everything is next you have some solid boxes more boxes and headers these actually fit the boxes of your monthly spread in the pastel color planner so you just have to resize but they fit these boxes just so you know and these other boxes they fit the weeks of this same planner so just resize again and you can also use the header okay and this is the last page of stickers then you have this blank section next you have just a blank uh, page that you can use to copy and populate any other section if you need more space for more stickers then you have another page with this color i don't know if you can tell but it's a light gray so you can uh, add white stickers and see where they are you have the same but in a yellow color again to help you in case you're using lighter color stickers and then you have the back cover now general info anytime you click on the spiral of every page it's going to take you back to the index so when the book is open that spiral is going to be in the middle so just tap there and you'll go back to your index from the front cover and the back covers the spiral of course is on the sides but it'll also take you here to navigate to each section you can either click on these numbers or you can also use the tabs on top here one two and it'll take you to each section of the planner all right guys so that was the end of this uh, walkthrough of the new uh, sticker book this is a lot of good stickers that you can use in your planner and the best part is that they are all ready to go so you just select them and use them really that's going to save you so much time as opposed to having a single png sheet that you need to cut yourself so if you want to save some trouble some time and effort then i highly recommend you get this type of sticker books because it makes your life a lot easier as always leave your questions in the comments and i will get back to you as quick as i can give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to be notified whenever i upload a new digital planning video mm -hmm.